On Thursday, April 25th, the end of the Oceanside Pier was engulfed in flames. Rachel Hurley, the chef de cuisine at Brian Box, a restaurant formerly residing on the pier, was the first person to notice and report the blaze. Saw white smoke coming up from underneath the building. Wasn't sure if I was crazy or not, thinking it was like fog rolling in, but uh, immediately called 911. Approximately 3 p.m. on April 25th, we responded to the Oceanside Pier and had water on the fire within approximately seven minutes. The top priority for Oceanside's lifeguard and fire department was ensuring the safety of all individuals on the pier. I mean, we fear of a restaurant catching fire, but not at the end of a pier because it's a big wooden pier, big wooden building, um, and I just I worry about the safety for everybody else, not just myself and my crew, but everybody else that was on the pier. Although the city of Oceanside has been through an unspeakable tragedy, the community remains closer than ever. Natalie Travers, an employee at a local business here, spoke about the importance that the structure held to her and her tight-knit community right below the pier. This is our home base. We all set up together, we all support each other, and we were just at a loss that day. Being here during it, I was getting a little bit emotional because it is just, it's an amazing place. I mean, I've swam around the pier for the Labor Day pier swim, and I was honestly horrified that we were gonna lose it. Above all, the pier symbolizes Oceanside's community and its rich history. We've had a pier since we became a city. It's synonymous with Oceanside. No matter what, if we have to rebuild, yes, we're going to rebuild again because we love our pier. The city of Oceanside has declared a local state of emergency, allowing it to access emergency funding from the state of California. As investigations continue, the cause of the fire remains unknown. I would expect in the next week or so we'll have more information on what caused the fire. While the pier may be closed for now, residents remain optimistic about the pier's future. Hopefully I'm going to be around long enough to talk about it. Like, oh, I remember when the Oceanside Pier caught fire. Oh, but now we have our seventh pier and everything is going great. Go ahead and cut off the end of it and change it out a little bit, make it more for fishing and add a couple new restaurants at the end. That'd be nice. The devastating fire at Oceanside's pier has highlighted the resilience of the community and determination to rebuild. Despite the challenges ahead, the pier is set to reopen on May 10, 2024. Reporting for The Sage with photojournalist Jacob Doherty, I'm Georgia Shear.